Hyperspace wars erupted everywhere. It was during one of these wars that I barely escaped with my life, while my dearest mother was away fighting for peace. Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, I checked out Battle Space. And this 2006 film was directed by Neil Johnson and stars Eve Conley, Blake Edgerton, and Paul Darrow, among others, of course. The story of this film is framed in such a way that it's about this woman who is telling the story of her mother at the end of the universe. And so most of it is this story about this mother, and she is involved in this war between the humans and the Techno Sapiens. So she is kind of lands on this planet and has to fight with the Techno Sapiens. What will happen though? Well, you have to watch the movie and find out. So let's discuss this movie. Well, what works? Well, I think it has lots of good sci-fi ideas in it. With the humans, the humans are actually immortal. They have some medicine that makes it so they don't have to die. And that actually created like a population explosion. So that's why they had to go to different planets to get new resources, which then in turn, you know, leads to intergalactic war. And that's all very interesting. And they're also fighting with this other type of human, the Techno Sapiens. And kind of their story is interesting. They actually don't want to be human anymore. They want to be the next evolution of humans, which is why they're trying to improve themselves. And that's just, you know, a, a funny thing to do, but very interesting. Other than that, I think with the daughter, she's at like the end of the universe and growing up, like one of my favorite books was the restaurant at the end of the universe. So anytime you have anything at the end of the universe, I'm definitely there for it. So yeah, it's just kind of lots of good sci-fi ideas that I thought were pretty interesting. Also with the daughter and how her kind of story plays out, she has like a good like 20, 30 minutes at the end just dedicated for her and all of that stuff definitely worked. It introduces even more sci-fi ideas. So this movie is just lots and lots of sci-fi ideas, which I was there for. So that's definitely good. And there is quite a few additional sci-fi ideas. So there's just like a dozen or two dozen sci-fi ideas just added on top of each other. And I actually think they work as like a cohesive story. It kind of makes it for a complicated world, but you know what world isn't really complicated so yeah just lots of fun sci-fi ideas in addition since this is a 2006 film they do have kind of dated cgi of course they're doing the best they can with what they got and i actually think it works they have like big space battles and quite a few space battles with explosions and cool looking kind of spaceships and warp gates and that type of stuff of course it's not up to the level of the realism of you know, Battlestar Galactica or The Expanse, but you can tell that they certainly do try. So maybe I can clip in some for you. So you can see it's just kind of fun space battles, of course dated, but you know, still fun. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this film. Well, I think with the storytelling, it is pretty slow. Like I said, it's also mostly in a desert, right? So someone running across the dunes and that type of stuff. And that can definitely be slow. It takes a while to get to each kind of plot point and then hear the narration there and whatnot. So that can be an issue if you're not used to kind of more mellow, kind of slower sci-fi, then this is probably not going to be for you. It's definitely, you know, not high action or intense action or anything like that. In addition, at the very beginning, they kind of like have a recap of the whole movie and it just kind of seems like it's it's like a web series that way where they just have like this, I don't know, promo type of thing that kind of is an overview and then they get into the real story. So that is an issue, especially when they repeat the kind of the first lines. I had to do a double take to make sure I hadn't restarted the video by accident. And so, yeah, that is an issue as well. So. Definitely some story elements and the pacing is, is an issue. Other than that, I thought all of the acting was rather flat and rather kind of emotionless, but they do actually have like an in-universe explanation about it. They say something about having to control your emotions and like never giving in to rage as like all your friends die around you. And so they do explain it that way. I kind of thought it added something to the story or at least explained away the acting, but it is in there, it is not, the best, so don't expect too much that way. 
And with the music, it's very generic music, so it kind of adds to that kind of slower story pace where nothing really stands out as particularly exciting. And so yeah, it just, I don't know, kind of slows it down as well. So it is what it is. So who would I recommend this movie for? Well, if you're someone like me who likes kind of thinking about sci-fi ideas, and you don't really mind kind of that laid back, chilled out storytelling method, then this might be something you can enjoy maybe on like a rainy day or a lazy afternoon, that type of stuff. So yeah, check it out if you want. As for rating, I thought it was mildly interesting, so I'm going to give it the 3.4. And with that being said, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.